Today is a very important and special um, afternoon for women because it's all part and parcel of Women's History Month. There's a 50-50 advocacy campaign and Women's Manifesto launch taking place right now. And we'd like to catch up with Mona Lisa. Hi, Tish. How you doing, Lisa? What's happening? You good? I'm good, thank you. Uh, so, like you rightfully said, we are at the Women's Manifesto launch. We have various stakeholders here. We have the chairperson of the Gender Youth Committee in Parliament. We have the Gender Equality in Zimbabwe, our uh, chairperson. We have a lot of women stakeholders here. But with me right now is uh, Tanya Lubis, who is the regional director of Hebo Foundation, who are the funders of this conference. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Okay, so one of the key areas that have been discussed this afternoon, this morning rather, is the issue of women representation in Parliament. And uh, the Minister of Women Affairs, Women and Youth Affairs, said that some of the reasons is because women have not been natured to be part of politics. No, it's not because politics is a dirty game, but it's not something that they have been taught for the longest time. So, as Hebo, what have you? Uh, what other reasons have you identified to be the reason why there's very little representation of women in the political space? I think the nurturing is indeed a very important one. Also, the Speaker to Parliament said that his mother played a main role, for example, by just being the role model and showing that women can lead. So it's also the mere fact that we have small representation in Parliament that other women are less attracted to also go to Parliament. Uh, then there is also it's sometimes a bit of a boys' club where women themselves don't feel comfortable in. Like, if you're very different, it's, it's not a, a logical choice to also go to Parliament. It's an educational thing. Uh, that's also, of course, nurturing. But in, in schools, like, how many girls are really told, like, you can be a politician? And imagine if girls would be told, like, politician is a nice career for you. Mm-hmm. And women need to also support each other. Like, we have to vote for women, right? That's the easiest way, even what you and I can do. We can just vote for another woman, and nobody can stop us, and no education system can stop us. We just vote for a woman, and we will change the system. Yes, yeah, so how women have to help each other go up the ladder. Okay, so now there's a manifesto launch. That's the first step. step. What comes thereafter? Because usually we get a uh, hard job about the launch, and then there are no uh, follow-up to the launch of uh, documents like yeah. this. No, that's a very good point. So we keep engaging and supporting parties to accept like a women's quota, to say like we want 50% women in parliament. We do trainings, we also educate the media together with our partners in Zimbabwe. So it's a long-running campaign, it's not only today. The manifesto is definitely an important step, and this conference is an important step, but it doesn't stop there, as you say. We hope with the new elections coming up now in a few months, after elections, we we hopefully see a total change in Parliament. But you have to keep campaigning. We have to keep putting it on the agenda. Thank you so much. That was Tanya Lubas, who is the regional director of Hebo.